Hello, my name is Paul Parkinson. I work at Oracle and I develop in XR. And this is the first in a series of videos that I hope to put out at least once a month and hopefully even more often uh, showing Oracle technologies, in particular cloud and database technologies used in the XR space. And I'll be using the HoloLens um, to show those off, developing in Unity with the uh, Mixed Reality Toolkit. This first episode, I'm going to show an XR version of a popular workshop called uh, Simplify Microservice uh, Microservices with the Oracle Converge database. And so I'll be showing um, two videos here. The first one is the um, uh, first couple labs in the workshop. And basically the workshop uses an online uh, food delivery service, a uh, fictitious company called Grabdish. And you can place orders uh, and um, have them delivered and such. And so in the first video, I'll be showing the different interactions that you can do with the XR version of this Grabdish app, uh, speech, um, eye and hand uh, manipulation in order to place orders um, and show the different data types of the database. So the orders are placed in JSON, inventory is managed with relational, and then the delivery um, is using spatial um, in the database. And you'll see the delivery map and things like that. So everything in that workshop is shown in XR format. Um, and then in the second video, I will kind of go on to the DevOps side of things and show uh, the Kubernetes layout and how um, different um, aspects of that can be shown, such as health probes, um, tracing, open tracing, and open telemetry. Uh, all of this, of course, visualized uh, in an XR way. So I hope you enjoy it. It would be great if you could like the video and subscribe. As I say, I'm going to be putting these out uh, fairly frequently, uh, showing all the different technologies that Oracle brings to the XR space. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. So what I'm doing is showing a XR version of the Grabdish online ordering um, scenario or app in the workshop. Uh, in this case, it's 3D. I'm able to interact with the application using hand gestures, eye gaze, um, and speech recognition. So I can um, look at the sushi, say send back, send back. Uh, and then I can look at the burger, say, come to me, come to me. And uh, it's going by my eye gaze, not the actual headset gaze. So I can look to one side or the other um, of the burger and it will actually rotate based on the fact that I'm looking at one side or looking at the other, as you can see. Okay. Uh, send back. So I will select to order the sushi. Again, uh, I can do that in a number of ways. I've just done it by saying select now with speech. And then the uh, dwell functionality is when you are looking and you can see the white cursor of where the, my actual eyesight is and that that moves around even when my headset does not. Okay. And so what we're seeing here is um, that I'm dwelling my Gaze is dwelling on certain objects, and I'm getting a audible readout of what they are. Okay, so I'll do select that. Select. Uh, now go ahead and place the orders that I selected. That's a dwell button. I'll get into that more. Um, and I hit delivery order by mistake as well at the same time. But what this will do is put it on a construct called a dock. And this is very interesting. Um, I see this having more and more use where you um, uh, bring things into the dock. They will shrink to fit so that you can add multiple items to the dock and they'll shrink to fit on the dock. So it seems very useful for categorization and things like that. And then what I've also done here is delivered the order, um, delivering from the restaurant to Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia in this case. And so we can see on the map here this nice 3D map, 
uh, the uh, geo um, spatial coordinates, the uh, geocoding that I've received by sending the uh, restaurant address and the delivery address to the Oracle cloud service backed by the Oracle database where it sends, um, uses the mapping API to send me the GeoJSON coordinates of the directions from the restaurant to the delivery location. And those are marked with these gigantic markers I put here, these yellow markers. Okay, and then we see the car over there, uh, the sort of Blade Runner DeLorean Back to the Future car riding down that route. So let's, let me bring this in. Uh, I can have this come to me as well. Come to me. Come to me. Okay. And um, bring this down a little. Okay. And then we can look at it at a sky view. Sent back. Okay. And so we can see the uh, route here. And again, it's a nice 3D visual. Philadelphia. And so just showing off some basic uh, technology there. Again, this is all working with the Oracle database. Okay, I hope you found that uh, interesting. Uh, one thing I neglected to mention in that video I noticed is that the um, suggestion of the beverage to match the food is um, actually based off of using uh, AI ML um, uh, to find that patching, that matching. So in the original workshop, we have a wine food pairing. And here you saw we have the, the tea for the sushi pairing. Okay, so now this next video, as I mentioned, is going to go into some DevOps things. Uh, we represent um, the Kubernetes cluster that is used in, again, in the workshop um, visually. Uh, so it can be manipulated with, again, with the same um, different, uh, as far as eye gaze, um, hand gestures and things like that and speech recognition. You'll see health monitoring, uh, audio alerts, and things like that. And then um, uh, you'll see some tracing aspects as far as open telemetry and how that can be nicely visualized. And so um, I'll see you on the other side of this video, but uh, again, we're continuing to add a, a number of things like this every week. So hopefully you'll like this video and subscribe and I'll see you after the video. Really focused on here is this uh, Kubernetes cluster for the workshop. So let me bring this, uh, you can drag it around. This is uh, the blue sphere represents the namespace. The purple are the deployments. And as you can see, you can move that as one unit and it's also a um, uh, hierarchical relationship. So I can resize this and all its children resize as well. You can shrink it. And what's also interesting about this is the HoloLens um, is tracking the whole room, you know, just like LiDAR or anything else. It's spatially mapping out the mesh of the entire room. And so you can shut this off and then come back in a day or a year or whatever, and, when, and uh, it will be in the same location. I mean, you can even use GPS and things like that to that extent. So, um, so let's take a little look at this and lay it out so it's a, a nice representation of the, the app. So we have the front end. Uh, let's bring the order service over here. Okay. And the inventory service. So these are all written. These are microservices written in different languages. Okay. And then we can kind of, you know, just step back and look at that. Um, and then let's take a look closer at the uh, the order service to see some of the details we can see here. And so in this deployment, we can take a look at the pods. And as you see, it just went from yellow to green. Um, again, this whole workshop is uh, running against live infrastructure. You know, this is all real. <laughs> so it's hitting the Kubernetes cluster and things like that. And so when we do this, uh, it's checking the status of that pod. And if it's up, it's green. If it's unknown, it's yellow. And if it's down, it's red. And um, I'll show uh, a health exercise on that in, in just a second. So uh, a number of things we can look at here. Uh, one of the things that I was curious about is, you know, can you really like look at logs and do some DevOps stuff in this environment? And I was definitely pleased. Um, you know, I'm being realistic about this for my own usage. Uh, viewing logs is a great experience. Um, 
So it's it's very easy to see. Uh, you know, it's very legible. And with the eye tracking, it's actually can I don't have enabled right now on this, but you can it can um, track what you are seeing, uh, what you are looking at rather. So that it'll actually scroll with your eye. You don't even need to use the scroll on the right there. And then copying and pasting are pretty easy as well. So um, the logs is actually pretty nice. Um, so let's go to the actual application itself. Uh, it sometimes takes a second for the browser to come up. Um, so this is just a regular browser. This will follow us follow me around, so I'll pin it. Um, and this is the Grabdish app from the workshop. So if, um, if you're not familiar with the workshop, um, see it's a little bright there. Uh, we show off a number of CNCF, uh, Cloud Native Compute Foundation, Foundation concepts, excuse me, uh, metrics, etc. And one of them is health. And so what we do in the workshop is you can actually have the microservice advertise that its uh, liveness is false. And then a, um, this just demonstrates the Kubernetes probes, which will come by and see that the microservice is saying that its health, its liveness is false. And then Kubernetes will go ahead and shut down the pod and restart it. So I'll do that. And how that will be represented um, visually for us is that we'll see that pod there uh, turn red. And we'll also get an audible um, alert and that audible alert is um, 3D spatially. So I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to tell from this recording. Um, but, you know, what the sound will be coming from across the room, if that's across the room, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oops. Oops. Okay. And then we see it alert. very quickly turn red. Service health. Like I say, if we turn... Down. You can see it's coming from different right side And it's in multiple languages, too. So then we'll see eventually that that's going to turn uh, green. So now, uh, when, the, when it gets restarted. Um, so now let's look at the, the app itself. And let's go ahead and place an order for Order 66. Okay, there we go. Let's place the order. Let's get this browser out of the way. And then let's, um, that order is being placed. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, tracing that I've added. So what this is showing is the order we just placed and how it is flowing through the system. So what I'm using is the open, trace and tr open tracing um, technology that's set up and I have asked for it to report order and saga ID information. And from that, I'm able to build the flow of the data through the system. Um, so you can see basically what this is. It's only three nodes, but it's basically a, a graph um, of nodes, edges, and then we have the labels and properties flowing through the system. So this is good for analysis. Um, and I'm hoping to extend that to more of our graph, uh, you know, use cases because any visualization in graph, you know, it's 3D on the computer, it will definitely be interesting. And it's, you know, it's natural for humans to be able to act, interact in the 3D world to find patterns, you know. Um, so, and then another aspect I'm working on right now is uh, chaos testing. So I actually have a little like, kind of asteroids looking character uh, flying around the cluster and uh, shooting down pods and manipulating the uh, network in order to test transaction recovery and things like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed checking that out and that you'll check out um, future videos that I'll be posting. Um, again, my name is Paul Parkinson. You can contact me. Ask me for anything you'd like to see developed as well. I'm definitely, definitely interested in any ideas and anything you'd like to see, particularly with the Oracle database and Oracle cloud technologies. I'm more than happy to develop. Um, I'll start sharing more details of the code and things like that as well in the future, but I really appreciate any feedback you may have or any suggestions. I'll take you up on it. Thanks so much.